Ever wondered why your heart skips a beat when that special someone walks into the room? That's not just a poetic expression, but a scientific reality. Our bodies are wired to respond to potential mates before we're even aware of it. And the culprit? A cocktail of brain chemicals that conspire to make us feel attraction. When you see someone you're drawn to, your brain releases dopamine, a hormone associated with pleasure and reward. Your heart rate quickens, your palms might sweat, and you feel a jolt of excitement. This is your brain's way of saying, hey, pay attention to this person. Then there's oxytocin, often dubbed the love hormone. It fosters trust and forms the bonding glue in relationships. When we're near someone we care for, our brains release oxytocin, making us feel connected and secure. Intriguing, isn't it? How our bodies react before our minds comprehend. Did you know there's actually a love molecule? Yes, you heard it right, a molecule that governs the emotions of love and bonding. This wonder molecule is none other than oxytocin, often referred to as the love molecule. So what's the deal with oxytocin? Well, it's a hormone produced in the brain's hypothalamus and released into the bloodstream during moments of intimacy. It's like your body's very own Cupid, launching biochemical arrows during those heart-fluttering moments. This incredible molecule doesn't just stop at romantic love, it's also released during childbirth, creating that immediate, unbreakable bond between a mother and her newborn. Even something as simple as a warm hug or a friendly handshake can trigger its release, reinforcing social bonds. So, oxytocin, in essence, is the chemical maestro, conducting our symphony of human connections, orchestrating the bonds we form and the love we feel. Next time you feel that warm, fuzzy feeling, thank oxytocin. Ever wondered why you're attracted to certain types of people? It's more than just physical appeal or a charming personality. Here, psychology steps in, unveiling the fascinating aspects of compatibility. First, let's tackle the age-old debate. Opposites attract versus like attracts like. You've probably heard these phrases tossed around, but what do they mean in the context of love? Well, opposites attract suggests that we're drawn to those who complement us, their strengths, balancing our weaknesses. On the other hand, like attracts like proposes that we're most comfortable with those who mirror our own behaviors and attitudes. But it's not just about balancing or mirroring. Shared interests, values and experiences are the threads that weave enduring bonds. They provide a common ground for conversation, growth, and mutual understanding. So it's not just fate, but also our psyche that leads us to our perfect match. What makes some relationships last a lifetime while others fade away? The answer lies not only in the fluttering butterflies of early romance, but also in the mundanity of everyday interactions. According to psychology, the longevity of love is deeply rooted in communication, empathy, and compromise. Communication, the lifeblood of any relationship, allows us to express our needs, understand our partner, and resolve conflicts. It's not just about talking but listening, truly hearing and understanding what the other person is saying. Then we have empathy, the ability to step into your partner's shoes, to feel their joy and their pain. It's the glue that holds relationships together during tough times. And finally, compromise. Love isn't about winning or losing, it's about finding a middle ground, a balance that respects both individuality and togetherness. So if you're wondering what makes love last, it's the daily commitment to communicate, empathize, and compromise. Remember, love is a journey, not a destination. From the exhilarating highs to the challenging lows, love is indeed a roller coaster ride. Each love story unfolds in stages, each with its own unique flavor and rhythm. It begins with the honeymoon phase, where everything feels magical and perfect. This is the stage where you feel an intense attraction towards your partner, want to spend every waking moment with them, and see them through rose-tinted glasses. It's like the start of a romantic movie, think The Notebook or Pride and Prejudice. However, as time passes, the honeymoon phase gives way to the reality phase. This is when the magic fades a little, and you start seeing your partner's flaws. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. It's like the plot twist in our movie where the characters face certain challenges, but through understanding and compromise they grow stronger together. Then comes the commitment phase. This is when you've weathered the storms, accepted your partner's imperfections, and made a conscious decision to stay together. It's like the end of our movie, where after all the ups and downs, the characters finally find their happily ever after. So, whether you're in the honeymoon phase, grappling with the reality phase, or basking in the commitment phase, remember, every stage of love is beautiful and valuable in its own way. After all, 
It's the roller coaster ride that makes the journey of love so thrilling and memorable. Let's delve into the controversial realm of love versus infatuation. Often the line between love and infatuation is blurred. Both emotions can be intoxicating, full of passion and make you feel on top of the world. They're like two different scenes from the same movie, each enticing in its own way. But how do you differentiate between the two? Is it possible that what you think is love is actually infatuation? This thought-provoking question has sparked numerous debates and research. Infatuation is often characterized by an intense but short-lived passion or admiration for someone. It's like the opening scene of a romantic movie, filled with excitement, butterflies in the stomach, and a sense of urgency. It's a whirlwind of emotions, but it's mostly surface level. It's the honeymoon phase we talked about earlier, where everything about your partner seems perfect and dreamlike. On the other hand, love is deeper and more enduring. It's the commitment phase where you've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly, and yet, you choose to stay. Love is patient, love is kind, it's understanding and forgiving. It's not just about the highs but also about weathering the lows together. Researchers have found that while infatuation is fueled by dopamine, the feel-good hormone that gives you a rush of happiness, love is associated with oxytocin, the bonding hormone that fosters a deep sense of attachment and comfort. So next time you find yourself swept off your feet, ask yourself, is it the thrilling but fleeting infatuation or the deep enduring love? Remember both have their own beauty and place in our lives, it's all part of the grand, complex and beautiful mystery that is love. In this chapter we turn our focus to the importance of communication in love. Communication often underrated is the lifeblood of any relationship. It is through communication that we express our needs, desires and feelings. It's how we resolve misunderstandings, build trust, and nurture our bond. However, each person has a unique communication style shaped by their upbringing, experiences, and personality. Understanding these styles can be a game-changer in relationships. There are primarily four types of communicators. The assertive, the passive, the aggressive, and the passive-aggressive. The assertive communicators express their thoughts openly and honestly, without violating others' rights. They are good listeners, and respect differing opinions. The passive communicators, on the other hand, avoid confrontation, and often suppress their feelings. The aggressive communicators are forthright but can be disrespectful, often ignoring others' feelings. Lastly, the passive-aggressive communicators indirectly express their anger or disappointment, leading to confusion and misunderstandings. Recognizing these styles can help you understand your partner better, improve your communication, and strengthen your bond. Here are some tips for effective communication. Listen actively, empathize, use I statements to express your feelings, respect each other's perspectives, and most importantly, be honest and genuine. Remember, love is not just about feeling, but also about understanding. And understanding begins with communication. So speak the language of love, and watch your relationship bloom. In this chapter, we delve into one of the most spirited debates in the realm of love. Monogamy versus open relationships. It's like choosing between vanilla ice cream and an exotic sundae. Both have their own charm, but your choice depends on your taste and, well, your appetite. Monogamy, the vanilla ice cream of relationships, has been the traditional model for centuries. There's comfort in its simplicity, in the idea of finding the one and sticking to them like glue. Monogamous relationships can provide a sense of security, stability, and deep emotional connection. But let's not forget, vanilla ice cream can sometimes feel, well, too vanilla. The pressure of fulfilling all your partner's needs the fear of monotony, and the struggle to keep the spark alive. These are challenges monogamous couples often grapple with. On the other hand, open relationships, the exotic Sunday of love, can be exciting and liberating. They offer variety, freedom, and the chance to explore different aspects of your personality. But, these relationships aren't a walk in the park either. They require a high level of communication, trust, and emotional maturity. And of course, there's always the risk of jealousy, misunderstandings, and hurt feelings. So what's your pick? The comforting familiarity of vanilla or the thrilling mystery of the exotic Sunday? Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. It's about what works for you and your partner, about finding your own rhythm in the dance of love. So, whether you choose monogamy or an open relationship, make sure it's a dance you both enjoy. After all, love is not about following the crowd but about following your heart. Up next we continue our journey into the enigma of love. 
exploring its many mysteries and marvels. Stay tuned. In this digital era, love has found a new playground, the world of social media. It's like a double-edged sword with the potential to both enhance and disrupt our relationships. Social media platforms, the new age Cupid, can connect hearts across continents, breaking the barriers of distance and time. They can help you find your perfect match, based on your interests, hobbies, and even your favorite memes. You can express your love through cute emojis, surprise your partner with virtual gifts, and if you're brave enough, make your relationship official with that much-awaited relationship status update. But, the digital world of love is not all roses and rainbows. It's also a minefield of challenges and dilemmas. The pressure to portray a perfect relationship, the constant comparison with others, and the invasion of privacy can often lead to stress and misunderstandings. Not to forget, the temptation of online infidelity and the risk of catfishing, where people present themselves dishonestly online. The digital age has indeed added a new dimension to the realm of love, making it more complex yet more fascinating. So what's your take on this? How has social media influenced your love life? Do you think it's a boon or a bane? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As we continue our exploration of love, remember love is a journey, a beautiful dance between two hearts, whether on the dance floor or on the digital screen. Stay tuned. Love is like a flame, and to keep it burning brightly, you need to keep feeding it with fuel. As we transition from the world of social media to the real world, let's explore some unconventional secrets to maintaining a strong and healthy relationship. Surprise and novelty are the lifeblood of a relationship. Remember the thrill of your first date? the excitement of the first kiss, and the rush of the first I love you. Over time, these moments become cherished memories, and the quest for new experiences often takes a back seat. But rekindling that initial spark doesn't always require grand gestures. It can be as simple as cooking their favorite meal, planning a surprise date, or even learning a new dance together. For instance, consider the classic love story of The Notebook. Noah and Allie's relationship wasn't perfect. They had their share of arguments and disagreements, but what kept their love alive was the element of surprise. Whether it was Noah hanging from a Ferris wheel to ask Allie out or building her dream house, these unexpected actions kept their love story vibrant and alive. So how can you bring back the magic in your relationship? Here are some tips. Break the routine. Plan a surprise weekend getaway. Learn something new together. It could be a cooking class, a new language, or even rock climbing. Write them a letter in this digital age, yes, the old-fashioned way. It's all about creating shared experiences and memories that can keep the flame of love burning bright. But remember every relationship is unique, what works for one might not work for another. The key is to understand, respect, and appreciate your partner's uniqueness, and to create a love story that's uniquely yours. As we transition into the mysteries that still remain, let's remember that love is a beautiful evolving journey filled with surprises at every turn. Stay tuned. So we've unraveled some mysteries of love, but there's so much more to explore. The enigma of love, the love molecule, the psychology of compatibility, and the longevity of love. We've journeyed through these fascinating aspects of romance, yet the landscape of love continues to be a vast, intriguing territory, waiting to be discovered. In our exploration of love, we've learned that it's a complex interplay of biology, psychology, and personal experiences. We've discovered how chemical reactions can spark attraction, how our subconscious minds can steer us towards compatibility, and how ongoing efforts to understand and nurture love can lead to its longevity. Yet the mystery of love remains. Each love story is unique, painted with its own palette of emotions, experiences, and memories. So, what's your story? What mysteries have you encountered in your journey of love? As we continue to delve into the science of love, always remember, it's the most beautiful mystery of all.